Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to perform live migration on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last video I showed you how to set up a basic actually cluster using just two nodes on Proxmox. Okay. So here is I am on my first node here. And you can see clearly that I have actually here a cluster that consists of two nodes. So we have here our Proxmox 01, which, which is our first node. Okay. It contains some uh, VMs and some LXCs okay, that are running. And here at the bottom, I have my second node, which called Proxmox 02. Okay. And as you will see here, it has no running. VM on LXE, okay. And of course, if I click on the data center here, you can get a global view about this uh, cluster here. So we have the status, which is as you can see here, okay. So we have actually our two nodes, we have our virtual machine and LXE containers, okay. And you get here also at the bottom the nodes ID and IP addresses of it. Okay. So as I told you, I will try to live migrate, for example, this LXC container here called Debian from this node 01 to node 02. Okay. Actually, there are two types of migration. There is what we call an offline migration, which means that we have to stop the running virtual machine and just transfer it to the other node or we can effect you a live migration which means that the machine is still running and it will be migrating without losing connection to the other node okay so here as i told you i'll be testing using this lxc container called debian okay so which has an ip address as you can see here uh, that one that 109 okay and also uh, for the resources you can see it's a disk that has just 8 gigabytes okay so just for testing purposes okay so in order to effect you a uh, live migration it's pretty easy all you have to do is to right click on the VM on the LXC that, that you want to migrate here and there is here an option called migrate okay so if i click on it i will get this window here okay so the source node is of course our proxmox 01 and the target node is the proxmox 02 okay so this is very simple and the mode here is restart mode okay so before migrating that i will open here my uh, actually uh, prompt and try to pick the IP address of this LXC container just to see if there is interruption or not while effectuating actually this live migration okay so it's still running here pink so now I will try to migrate it so I will click on this migrate here and from the beginning you will see that the uh, we have an error here migration aborted duration zero time okay storage is not available on proxmox 02 okay so here you will see that in order to affect you actually live migration uh, you have to have some storages that have the same name on both nodes okay so here for my first proxmox I have here storage called storage okay let me see with capital S so this is so if I click on it you can see this storage is actually has as name storage with a big S okay so here reside all the VM and LXC container for my first node and if I go to my second node which is Proxmox 02 so here as you can see it has no storage 
uh, name with capital S, okay? So let's create actually storage on this node 02. Okay, so I'll click on it and I will go to the disk to see just to here you can see for Proxmox 02, which is my second node, I have actually an available disk uh, called slash dev slash sd1, okay? So let's try to initial this uh, disk with GPT, okay? Here we go, and I will try to add it and name it storage, okay? So for that, I will go to directory here and I will create a directory, okay? So the file system is extended for and the name will be storage with capital actually S, okay? Storage. So let's create this disk. Okay, so now we have actually created storage and you can see it appears here on my Proxmox 02, which is my second node. So now I have the same name that I have on second node as the first node, okay? So let's affect you now the live migration once again and see if we get this error, okay? So I will click on my Debian which is our testing LXC container and I will do a live migration so let's migrate it okay so the source is always my Proxmox 01 and the target is Proxmox 02 and let's migrate that And by the way, let's see also the ping. So we can see here we have some uh, actually we lost some pings because it has shut down the actually our LXC container in order to do this uh, migration. Okay. So here, as you can see, we still get some problems. So let's check the problems here. So here, the problem that we have is that we don't get actually a bridge called VMPR1 does not exist on this second node. Okay, so this is actually one of the requirements. So let me explain that. So if I go actually to my uh, first node, which has the machine if I take a look at the network you can see here that I'm I was using for the LXC container that I migrate I was using as a bridge VBM R1 okay but if I go to the second node you will notice that I don't have actually this VMPR1 but I have as the bridge name VMPR0 okay and this is why it has failed okay the migration has failed but indeed actually we have migrated to the second node so we can just rename this one from VMPR0 to VMPR1 okay but for you this is one of the requirements before doing any migration you have to make sure that they have the same bridge names okay so for me let's just i will just uh, actually create another bridge and rename it vpm1 and see if i can start my actually lxc container so let's create a linux bridge so i will call it so it's called by default here so i can give it for example uh, as IP address is 182.168 for example that one that 205 okay slash 24 so okay and I will give it also 
to get away, but I don't need actually that. So, and I can leave other default as it is. Already exists, okay, yes. So let's create. So now our bridge has been created, which called VMPR1. Let's apply the configuration here. So it's to not to forget that. And I will try just to uh, give it actually a getaway. Here we go and apply the configuration. Okay. So now let's try to start this uh, LXC container which has other resources as you can see here VMPR1 because it's coming from my first node okay so let's just start it and see if it's working okay so now if I try to start this LXC container you will notice that I still get this error here bridge VMPR1 does not exist okay so in order to tackle this problem I will try just to uh, actually uh, restart this node here node 02 and see if I still get the same error okay so let's restart it and see what we get So let's now refresh our interface and see if indeed we can now restart our uh, LXC container. So hopefully now it will seize this VMPR1 bridge. So let's try to start this machine here and see what we get. So you can see if I go to the console here you can see that I get connected to my machine and let's enter here the credentials and indeed we can reach it and IP address still remain the same as you can see here that one that 109 okay so we have to keep that in mind before doing actually a migration from one node to second node you must have two requirements okay so the first one they must have the same naming for the storage where the vm or lxc container resides so here i have storage called storage and also on the second node i have storage called also storage with capital s okay this is the first requirement and the second requirement is that they must also have the same uh, bridge for networking so for uh, proxmox 01 it has as a bridge so let me show you that it has a bridge name vmpr1 okay so in the second uh, node it must also a bridge with the same name must also exist so if I go to this uh, Proxmo 02 you can see I have also VMPR1 as name for a bridge if you don't have actually this uh, bridge naming uh, the live migration will fails okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to do a migration from one node to another node on Proxmox cluster so if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.